Welcome back to I Have a Doyai. Innovate with authenticity. Today we're talking about something that feels less like the future and more like the present knocking on our door, where AI is heading in 2026 and why it's no longer about pilots or buzzwords, but business outcomes. You ready? Definitely. And it's wild how fast the landscape is changing. We're no longer watching innovation crawl. We're watching it leap. In just a year or two, what once seemed like experiments now have to prove their value. Exactly. And it's not just about deploying tech anymore. It's about embedding AI into the DNA of how an organization operates. I mean, look at how AI, digital transformation and agile ways of working have evolved. You can't treat them like isolated checklists anymore. That's a key point. I've seen teams try to run agile sprints without really adjusting their culture, or they slap AI onto a process hoping for magic. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work like that. These are not standalone tools. They're interwoven threads of reinvention. Let's start with the shift from experimentation to ROI. 2026 is being dubbed the prove it year for AI. The novelty has worn off. Enterprises, vendors, even developers are being asked the same question. Can you deliver measurable value? Right, the pilot phase was exciting. Lots of demos, lots of talk. But now, leaders are getting grilled by CFOs. KPMG found that although two-thirds of large companies are running AI pilots, only 11% have rolled out agents broadly. That's a big gap. And bridging that gap means prioritizing projects that deliver results fast. For HR leaders, that could mean focusing on AI tools that actually improve employee experience, like intelligent recruiting platforms or adaptive learning paths. Or workforce analytics that surface insights from employee sentiment or engagement data. But here's the catch. HR can't just champion these tools. They've got to demand accountability. That means asking vendors for ROI, not just dashboards. And tech leaders? They're under the same pressure but from a different angle. Budgets are tightening, so only tools that cut costs, boost efficiency, or speed up delivery will survive. That's a brutal filter, but a necessary one. And it's weeding out the noise, honestly. Speaking of real value, AI agents are on everyone's radar now. These aren't your friendly neighborhood chatbots anymore. We're talking about autonomous tools that handle multi-step tasks. Think onboarding an employee from start to finish, scheduling orientation. Answering policy questions, customizing training. That's an AI agent at work. And in engineering, agents that can review code, find vulnerabilities, generate test cases. Or even manage cloud infrastructure. But here's the thing, not all agents are created equal. Ones that can tolerate minor errors, viable today, but high stakes tasks, needing perfect accuracy, still a work in progress. That's where the multi-agent architecture comes in, distributing tasks among specialized agents to minimize risks. It's a smart workaround, but it also raises new questions about oversight. Which is why HR and tech leaders need to be in the same room, defining where agents can add value today and where human checks are still essential. Collaboration over silos, always. And let's not forget another big trend, verticalization. Generic AI is losing its edge. Real innovation is happening in industry-specific use cases. Right. In healthcare, for example, we've moved past just summarizing doctor visits. Now AI is analyzing medical imaging, aiding in diagnostics. And in law, firms are using AI to draft contracts and summarize complex cases. That means... HR has to prepare the workforce for this deep integration. We're not just skilling up anymore, we're reskilling and rethinking how entire roles might evolve. Ethics, transparency, and adaptation become part of HR's mandate. Meanwhile, tech leaders get to play offense. The opportunity is in building AI that understands domain specific pain points and leverages proprietary data. That's where competitive moats are forming. And that leads us to the final theme. The battle at the application layer. The model war is settling. We know who the big players are. But the next battlefield, usable, scalable, elegant solutions built on top of those models. Most businesses don't want to become AI experts. They just want tools that work. So while open source is exciting, it's not always practical. 
companies like OpenAI and Anthropic are winning because their tools are polished, user-friendly, and integrated. So for HR, the question becomes, does this AI tool plug into our existing performance system? Will it improve compliance workflows or engagement tracking without a tech headache? And for tech leaders, the shift is from building new models to integrating existing ones into solutions that actually solve problems. Less about the intelligence of the model, more about the intelligence of the product. You nailed it. So what does all this mean for leadership? HR leaders must ensure AI doesn't erode trust or belonging. If we roll out tech that makes people feel like cogs, we failed. AI should elevate human potential, not replace it. That's powerful. And tech leaders must align their solutions with strategic goals. It's not about launching the flashiest tool. It's about whether that tool drives measurable impact. Scalability, reliability, and business value are the new North Stars. Let's also not forget, AI isn't just about automation. It's about augmentation. Seeing patterns we'd miss. Enabling personalization, freeing up teams to focus on creativity and strategy. But to get there, AI can't be bolted on. It must be embedded. And that's where agile practices come in. Short cycles, continuous feedback, and cross-functional collaboration. This is how transformation becomes sustainable. Agile plus AI is a loop. Test, learn, adapt, scale, rinse, and repeat. That's how the most resilient companies are staying ahead. Not just reacting to change, but shaping it. So what's the call to action? For leaders in any domain, don't treat AI, digital transformation, and agile as side hustles. They are your new operating system. Integrate or be left behind. And lead with clarity. Scale with agility. Embed AI with responsibility. The organizations that succeed won't be the ones chasing trends, but the ones shaping culture, tech, and ethics in tandem. Couldn't agree more. And if there's one question I'd leave our listeners with, it's this. Are you building for short-term results or for a long-term legacy that's ethical, human, and future-proof? That's the heart of it. Thanks for joining us today on iava.ai. We'll see you next time, where we keep exploring the intersection of tech, humanity, and transformation. Stay curious, stay adaptive, and lead with purpose.